Okay, further to um, the video I did the other day about logins uh, on Bootstrap Studio, and I mentioned about that you would have to do them in PHP. And I probably didn't mention that you can actually do them in JavaScript, although PHP is the way to go with um, with them because of the, you know, they go to a database and all this type of thing. Um, and it's definitely a safer way. However, there is one way you can do JavaScript logins. For example, if you're in a club or an organization, um, I've known people give out a password or an email address just for that person or those individuals within a club, for example. Um, if you were going to do that um, on these, uh, these login forms, JavaScript can, can work for that. However, it must be said, that if someone knows what they're doing and want to be into your website, they will be able to get in by going into the source code. Or you can hide that a little bit, but it's it's still not uh, not great. But if it wasn't sensitive data and stuff like that, um, I'm not saying this is what you should do. I'm just saying there is a way to do it. And, and I've worked on this uh, thing yesterday. Uh, just Just give me a moment. And this is this, this is on CodePen, and I'll give you the address uh, when uh, in the description area. Okay, so this is the JavaScript one, and um, if you put the name in, if you do it like this, you just put click me. Sorry, you're not allowed in there, okay, because you need the, the, the uh, your name and your password. All right, okay. So what I've done is, um, I'm going to put in Bootstrap Studio. I'm going to put these files in here. So these are all the JavaScript files. So there's one CSS, one HTML, and form JS. Okay, so they're just going to pop in there. Well, everything's imported in there now. Uh, which one we want is the form HTML. Okay, as you can see, that, that doesn't look very good. Anyway, so if we just get into this. Um, Okay, here's the uh, the form and the CSS for that. So what we could do on this is just put the uh, where it, um, where it says the input. Okay, and you can go to two hundred pixels on there. Okay. So, so after a bit of playing around, what I would do there was uh, width on the button, one hundred and fifty pixels, and a few more things. I've got to say that doing CSS with Bootstrap Studio's um, own stuff is an absolute nightmare because it seems to contraindicate all the time. Um, but anyway, the, the basics of this thing is if it works or not. So if you put the preview on here, okay, so you've got this and you're giving someone the name, for example. Okay, so in this case, I'm saying Nigel Bruce, so okay, uh, that input box needs to be a little bit bigger than that, but Never mind, anyway, and I've got a password. So what he's given is this password as a demonstration, for example. Okay, so anyway, click me, and okay, hi Nigel, you're welcome to this site. And then it's got, you've seen this a million times. Uh, would you like to say the password? Yes or no. If I just put in Nigel Brewster, or if I missed a spelling and got it wrong like that, okay. Sorry, you're not allowed in there. Okay, so this is basically, you can do um, Bootstrap Studio forms with JavaScript and, and the log, and login ones, but it, uh, it is with caution. Um, so I'm not telling you or encouraging you to use these, but it's, I'm just giving you options. If, for example, you have a, a website, a club, or an organization that you're involved with, the data isn't too sensitive, um, because I know that's, uh, a problem for some things and and um, yeah you can you can really JavaScript form might be the way I know I know my dad's um, been given something he's he's involved with he's been given uh, a password and a, a name and things like that and that works fine so yeah so it's on, on people who are using phones and tablets and things like that it's it's pretty safe because you cannot really see the source code of I mean, I'm not very good with phones and tablets and all the rest of it, but I, I just use laptops. But 
what I know of them, I, I don't, I've never found how to get into these things anyway. But anyway, uh, thanks again for watching, and I hope uh, that's uh, you know that's giving you some options open to you. Thanks for watching.